In an unusual class at Blaine High School, students spend a lot of the time outside of the classroom. Referred to as an experiential learning opportunity, students in the science class learn by spending time in nature, focusing on ecology. In the winter, however, the class is forced to deal with the conditions that nature produces. Danica has more. It may look like a simple snow fort, but it's called a Quincy, and it's specifically designed to act as a shelter in the winter. Well, it's kind of like an igloo, except you just pile up a bunch of snow, then you let it freeze. Then after it's frozen, you just dig out the inside. And then it protects you from the wind and keeps you warm. Used frequently in winter camping, the Quincy is also a great tool in winter survival situations. Without the wind, it made it feel a lot warmer, but it's probably about, when we did the tests in class, we actually tested how much warmer it was. It was about 15 degrees warmer in the Quincy's when there are people in there than okay. outside. The students learned about the Quincy as a part of a class at Blaine High School called Outdoor Adventures. It's a class only available to seniors and has a lot of hands-on learning. During the winter, they've been studying hypothermia, ichthyology, or the study of fish, lake ecology, and more. It's like a science class, so we learn about like different like animals and stuff and like how, like what plants and things are edible and not edible, so if you need to survive, you're able to. Zach is also in the class and was one of the lucky people Trevor persuaded to help him build a Quincy in his front yard. He's been asking, he was asking me for a long time. And, and when they got started, the project was bigger than they were expecting. Um, it took a long time, probably 10 or 11 hours. They say the hardest part was getting enough snow in one area. Well, it wouldn't have taken so long, but I had to get snow from the snow banks in my front yard and the big snow bank over there, which was a lot of ice. Then I had to carry it from across the yard over to the Quincy and shovel it on, one shovel at a time. And that's probably what took the longest, just walking back and forth to the snow piles. After they had more than six feet of snow stacked up, they carved it out, and then on one night, they used it for what it was made for. We had five people sleeping in there, so it was pretty cramped, but we stayed warm. While the five of them survived the night, they aren't looking to sleep there again anytime soon not very comfortable at all. For North Metro TV News, Danica Peterson, reporting. Now the boys are heading to the Boundary Waters next weekend for a class field trip. They have the option of building another Quincy or for the weekend or packing a tent. They said they haven't made a final decision about what their camping, what their camping housing will be, but they did say that they will at least bring a tent along.